Hey everyone, we're back with another tutorial here. This is covering how to set up the Redux source. This is geared towards all public versions of Redux. In the newer versions, we changed how the source is configured. So a lot of people were having issues with the old video and wanted a guide. So it's actually very, very simple. All you need to do is download and install MySQL. If you already have MySQL installed or are setting up some version other than the one that I'm linking to, you need to make sure that InnoDB is enabled. Uh, after that, you're just going to download the source itself. You can download either the 3.0 release or uh, I might even have something no newer than that, or you can download the older version if you really like. Uh, some people had issues with 3.0 source, but I believe it's just people not executing the database properly. So you're going to download and extract the, the actual source itself. You're going to go ahead and uh, connect to your database. You can use any database management software. I'm using Navicat here. You can use, there is some free software, I believe uh, Heidi SQL is another one I use, or you can use command line if you're a little bit more comfortable with it. All you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create a new database, call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it Redux2 so it doesn't interfere with my other data. You're then going to open that database, right click on it, and execute SQL file. Now, once you select the, the file itself, there is actually a problem with how it will try and execute it normally. You need to uncheck the box that says run multiple queries in each execution. That was causing a lot of problems for people. Once you uncheck that, you should be able to execute the entire file and you should not get any errors whatsoever. If you're getting any errors, then that, mean it, that means that it's not going to be able to run properly. Now, at this point, if you just go ahead and refresh this, you should see that all of your data is populated. Next thing you need to do is you need to figure out what IP address you're going to use. Open up the command prompt. You can do that by typing in command in your search bar and just go ahead and open that up. In this case, you're just going to type in IP config and we're going to get our local IP address. This will not allow others to connect to your network. It's just so that we can test things. You're going to select the IPv4 address for your Ethernet adapter. Uh, if you don't have that, well, you'll have to figure it out on your own. The reason I'm using this is because you cannot use a link back. So like 127.0.0.1 is not going to work. Once that's done, you're going to open up the solution project. Uh, you need to have Visual Studio installed in order to do that. You're going to go ahead and allow this to load properly. And at that point, you're going to run it. You can click the start button. You can go ahead and start debugging. You can run it any way you want. I'm just going to start debugging. It will then ask you to create a configuration file. This uh, makes things quite simple. You're going to enter your IP address, whether that is your local IP address, whether it's your Hamachi IP address or public IP, that's up to you. In this case, we're using a local because it's the easiest and quickest way to demonstrate the server working. Uh, we're then going to uh, type in our database name. We're calling it Redux2 in, in our database, but I'm assuming most people will use the default one. You're going to enter your username and password. I'm going to go ahead and move this off screen here so that you don't take my other passwords. And we're going to then click Write Configuration. It should then pop up saying Configuration Complete, Server Will Now Start. It's going to go ahead and load this up. You're going to get a firewall error. You're going to go ahead and allow that. It should say Ready to Log In. That's the only thing that should pop up. It shouldn't be popping up anything else. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your client. Uh, again, following the setup instructions here, you should be downloading a 5065 client. There's a link to it. You're going to download a loader. It is not a virus. Make sure you add an exception. It will pop most antivirus software. And then we're going to go ahead and configure that. We're going to go ahead, extract that into our client. We're going to set the IP address in loader set.ini. Again, we're setting that to our 192 address in this case, but it could be anything. And then in order to run the project, you're going to go ahead and open up conquerloader.exe. Boom, that's all there is to it. Now uh, we're going to log into a default account here that's included in the database backup. And voila, we are able to log in, or we should be able to log in. Uh, item Action 8, I've actually fixed that in private versions. And there we go, we are logged into my default test account and we're good to go. So if you guys have any questions or if you have other things that you'd like to learn how to do in Redux, please leave some comments below and I'll try and get those handled for you. If you are wanting to use Redux but it's not supporting a patch or you want some custom features added or anything else, 
feel free to hit me up. I'm definitely doing a lot of work for people right now, and I'd love to have some more clients. Uh, basically, I've already done a 5017 version of the, the source. I'm also considering upgrading it to uh, a newer patch to help people who want some newer features, and that's definitely something that we can try and work out. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully you guys will enjoy this, and it will make the setup that much easier for you. Thanks a lot, and you guys have a great day.